A man has been arrested after being caught on camera robbing a Pine Bluff councilwoman at gunpoint. Our Gary Burton Jr. joins us live in studio with a look at that video. After speaking with Councilwoman Joni Alexander and Gary, first and foremost, how is she doing tonight? Well, Laura, she's still a bit shaken, but she's still standing tall. Three assault rifles were all pointed at Pine Bluff Councilwoman Joni Alexander outside of her home early Sunday morning. The robbers took over $4,000 of her belongings in just one swipe. Early morning on Sunday, June 26th on West Martin Place Avenue in Pine Bluff, this happened. Pine Bluff City Councilwoman Joni Alexander was robbed by three men at gunpoint. Not only was it one big gun, it was two, three big guns. Alexander is grateful the men didn't shoot her, but after they snagged her purse, shots were fired as they ran off. Does it take all of that to rob a woman of her purse? She had two cell phones, credit cards, cash, and a handgun inside her purse, amounting to over $4,000. What they did was heartless. Alexander was able to ping her phone to two separate homes on Chestnut Street, which is a short walk away from her home. And after investigating, according to the police report, everything except the handgun had been burned or destroyed. So they got absolutely nothing out of it other than just terrorizing the neighborhood. 30-year-old Rodney Whitmore has been arrested and charged with aggravated robbery and theft of property in this case, leaving two out of three suspects still out there. It makes me feel a bit uneasy because they... Um, do know where I live. The councilwoman announced in January that she would not seek re-election. She says this incident confirmed that she made the right decision. Now I don't even feel comfortable allowing people to come here and share this space with me because I could be putting their life at risk. I asked Alexander about the root to the problem of violence. She says it starts with the lack of education, poverty rate, and broken households. And all of those things mixed together with a certain type of bad character creates moments like what I experienced. And at one of those homes on Chestnut Street that pained Councilman Alexander's phone, two juveniles were taken into custody and questioned with their parents pregnant, excuse me, present, and then released. If you have any information on this incident, please call the Pine Bluff Police Department. In studio, I'm Gary Burton, Jr. Back to you, Laura.